NFL 24. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Giants and the 49ers on Thursday night primetime. We're about 40 miles south of Candlestick Point as we welcome you inside Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Today, boy, what a matchup. Two NFL franchises with so much history, so much tradition, getting set to do battle here as it'll be the New York Giants taking on the San Francisco 49ers. Hi again, everyone. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And Charles, you take a look at these 49ers as they interplay here. It's been a great start to the season, back-to-back -back wins to begin the campaign. Yeah, you don't want to get too excited. There's still a lot of season to go, but they've come out playing good fundamental football, and that might carry them a long way. On the other side of the field for the visiting Giants, they too were winners last time out, so something's got to give here. And I love it when both teams come in off of wins. Great mindset, and it usually leads to a really well-played game. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. And the Niners offense set to go to work, and it's last year's revelation, Brock Purdy, who leads him out in season number two from Iowa State. And you and I both know that any win is a good win, and that's what they did last week. But there's also plenty for him to work on in his game, wasn't there? Yeah. Two touchdowns, an Had interception. Yeah, you know, he wants to increase that a little bit in terms of ratio. But first and foremost, they did win the game. They'll start with the option. And apparently not liking what was taking place, so he'll just tuck it and take the sack. Isaiah Simmons getting by the offensive line and dropping the quarterback. Purdy bootlegging it. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Jennings was the one he was looking for, and it's third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Purdy with it on third and long. And he fires one, but incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. Here's Jackson to return. A seven-yard return following a punt of 45 yards. And it'll be Giant football first and 10. And the Giants ready to go now on offense. And under center is the man in possession of a new contract for 2023 and beyond. In his fifth season now, Daniel Jones. Playing for his Giants career, Jones' best season as a starter didn't come with huge numbers as a passer. He was just the guy his team needed him to be. Someone who could threaten the defense throwing it, and especially as a runner. Nifty running by Barkley there on first down. He scoots forward for seven yards, sets him up nicely, second and three. The numbers for him from a week ago, 16 carries, 56 yards. Well, obviously, he didn't have a great deal of time between games, having to turn around on a short week and get ready for Thursday night football. Jones in trouble here, and down he goes. And they're picking up right where they left off with the shutout that they pitched last week. A huge part of that, this pass rush, they know how to get after people. Offensively, good luck finding some answers right now. Sack, third and long, tough spot for Jones and the Giants. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. A little juke. Now he's free at the 35. Saquon Barkley. All the way in. Touchdown, New York. Saquon Barkley, his second touchdown on the season. And the Giants put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. 
Well, you've got to like that start on both sides of the football. You force the three and out, and then you score on your first drive. Well, I know someone who doesn't like that start. Well, yeah, the other side. Yeah, they don't like that at all, right? This is not the way it's supposed to be. But what you just described, that's team football. All right, when you get a three and out, you're supposed to take advantage of it on the offensive side of the ball. You said, thank you very much for getting us the rock. Let's put it in the end zone, and they did exactly that. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. They're riding a two-game winning streak into this Thursday nighter. How easy is it when you're on a roll to stay on a roll given the quick turnaround? Well, you would think it'd be pretty easy because everyone's locked in and practice and meetings because everyone feels good about themselves. And for coaches, this is where they have to tell themselves, don't add too much. Don't worry about game plans as much as players. So look at your play sheet and think, give it to the guys who play best and don't worry about the rest of it. That one, a first down pickup of eight. The Niners at 2-0 here to begin the season. They come in feeling pretty good after back-to-back -back victories, CD. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. Charles Thursday night game, I think a lot of teams probably say shrink the playbook somewhat. Is that correct? I think you're right about that because you just don't have the amount of time that you have in a normal week to put in a full playbook. So as you said, you shrink the playbook, pick out the plays that work best for you. And you know what else you're looking for? It's a, who are the freshest guys coming off the last game to play on a Thursday night? Guys have a little extra pep in their step. You go to them early and often. He's going to be a yard short. Needed two, but only got one. Fourth down. They'll go for it. Here's Purdy. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have the Niners first down. It'll wind up being a gain of five there on fourth and two. They go play action here. Purdy. That's complete to the tight end runner. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 38. Purdy completes this one here to McCaffrey. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 11 more on that one, and another first down. Now Purdy. That's over the middle and caught by Ayuk. And down inside the 15 and goes. Another nice game, 13 yards that time and another first down. Here's the pro bowler, Christian McCaffrey. And he'll find his way down right around the 12. Tackled by Isaiah Simmons. Second and nine. Brings up second and nine. Throwing here, Purdy. He'll get this underneath to McCaffrey. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And now one yard to go on third down. Defensively, they came into the game with the understanding they're going to have to slow him down on passes just like this because he was over 100 yards receiving a week ago. And you know they want to get him involved here as well. And this is not going to be enough. Was in search of two yards and only got halfway there. Going for it, it's Mitchell. And boy, is he close. Did he get there? No, they're going to say he's short of the line to gain. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And this long drive is going to wind up yielding nothing. Well, I guess they wanted to get that touchdown right back on their first drive, but failed to do so. And what they have to be careful of is pushing so hard to stay there right there, to stay even with their opponent, that they gas themselves out. You know, it's almost like horse racing. Sometimes you don't want to take your horse right to the front and let them do all the work, and then someone catch them at the end and pass them up. You want to make sure you moderate what you're doing along the way and then go for the big finish. Second and ten. They'll run it again with Barkley. And that won't buy him much. 
much room. Just a one-yard gain to the five. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Giant football, and we're ready to begin the second quarter. Facing the prospect of a punt from their own end zone, they need some cushion. Let's see what they can do on third down. Oh, and this is going to wind up a safety. The goal here is about getting any kind of positive yardage in this spot because you don't care who, you don't care how. You just want to try and buy a little space and get away from your own end zone. But in this spot, the defense was all over that play and equally motivated to stick them with a safety. And remember, following the safety, you give the football up as well, and they free kick it from the 20 now. McLeod to return it. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And last time, they had it fourth and goal, rolled the dice, didn't get it. Now they've got to put that behind them, try to put together another drive. A simple tip of the cap, a nod of the head to the defense. Congratulations, you got us last time. But you didn't hold us the whole time. We got down to position. We were able to be in position to score. Let's go ahead and attack again. Continue to have that kind of confidence. Not worry about the one play that didn't allow them to get into the end zone. And this time they'll be trying to get it into the end zone. We'll see what they do. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. They had a good stiff arm there before he's brought down on a nice little game. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. That's a nice design there, but sometimes, though, you get so many blockers out ahead of you, they kind of slow you down and force you to adjust. You always appreciate guys trying to help you, but maybe one less there could have turned this into a bigger game. Well, throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Normally, I'd say this will lead to a punt attempt, but this offense already shown in the first half that they'll go for it on fourth down. Well, they should have already said, punt it, punt it. Head coach have already made that decision. Fights him off. A 45-yard punt for there on the return. And they will take over first and 10. Now Jones. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. A well-designed corner blitz that gets him for a loss of eight yards. So, Charles, no turnovers yet for this offense, but those sacks now, they're starting to pile up. And one thing usually leads to another because they've got to figure out how the offensive line and everyone else involved in protection can keep their quarterback upright and allow him a chance to throw the ball downfield. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Throwing Jones. They dial up the corner blitz that time, and it delivers to the tune of a nine-yard loss. Okay, let's go back a little bit and see if my schooling comes to the front. What's that old saying? Those who forget the lessons of history are doomed to repeat them. That's the same guy who's gotten back-to-back -back sacks. I think a double team may be in order. Finding Sterling Shepard for his first catch. They get 12 yards back, but it still leads to a fourth and long. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. And here's Gillen on now to punt as he gets this one away. He'll take it at the 42. A nice punt, but a good run back as well of 13 yards. And the Niners set up well. They take over first and 10 on the short side of the field. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. Gets this to his running back. It's Christian McCaffrey. Give him five on the screen play, and that'll set up the third down. Boy, that was certainly well run defensively. And the key to any screen play is space to work. And there was none to be found there. And they tackle him for just a short game. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And a hard working run here as he's got it inside the 20, down to the 17. 
That good for 19 and a first down. Purdy looking to throw. Complete to the tight end, Kittle, over the middle of the field. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that'll make it second down. Purdy will set up to throw it here. Over the middle, that's complete to McCaffrey. And the Niners are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. A good run of six yards there. Gets him closer to the goal line with second down coming up. And Brad, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line because ordinarily you use the back end of the end zone, the sidelines as extra defenders, and you want bigger people on the field to try and help against the run. Here's Purdy. Got a man right side. It's McCaffrey. Touchdown for the Niners. throw there by the second year quarterback and I don't believe that's the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is a continuation of your college days a lot of one read and if you don't have it you just take off and go now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression that was a nice play so after the main field goal by Moody he's back out to kick this one away Holmes going to opt against bringing it out, and they will begin at the 25. And New York set to take the field. They come off a victory over the weekend, but now the quick turnaround here for this Thursday night game. How does that affect how teams like this approach these short turnarounds? Well, wins and losses always factor into, you know, how you're getting ready for the next game. But equally as important when you have the short turnaround, what is your injury situation? Are you losing key guys? And if so, how well have the backups prepared for this? Because you don't have much time to get them ready. They have to be ready before this week in order to play well in this game. Jones, throw complete here to Waller. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Operating for the gun. Jones. That's complete. He's got Barkley out of the backfield. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. Throwing again on second down. Jones. Well, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Isaiah Oliver with the INT. And they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49-yard line. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. Their quarterback leading this offense back out. He had the short touchdown pass on their previous drive. And they'll begin again here on first and ten. Purdy. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it, and it's second down. That incompletion certainly slows things down a little bit and brings up a very important call for second and long. What do you do? Run and try and get some yardage and make it third and manageable? Or challenge the coverage again, hoping for a bigger game? And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third down, it's Purdy. He's got his running back out of the backfield. The 49ers now are going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. Once more, Purdy looking to throw. Flushed out right. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Back to throw, Purdy. Oh, and this will be incomplete. 
The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. And he has got from 55. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach turned his defense, the firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. A little under 30 seconds to go. We'll see how they play it here on first and 10. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. On second down, here's Barkley. And he's going to be taken down here as that will lead us to the end of the first half of play. So we've hit halftime here in Santa Clara with the 49ers out in front as we send you cross country to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our Tiburon Studios here in Orlando. We'll take a minute and look ahead at what's to come this weekend in week number three. In the one o'clock games, one that immediately catches the eye is in our nation's capital, a big test for the Washington Commanders as they get set to match up with the Buffalo Bills. Lots to look forward to in the late games as well. One of the best being up in Seattle where we find the Seahawks taking on the Carolina Panthers. And lastly, on Monday Night Football, another doubleheader. Philly and Tampa at 7:15, followed by the Super Bowl rematch from a couple of years ago. The Rams and Bengals from Cincinnati. We saw the former All-Pro Christian McCaffrey up to his old tricks in that first half. He had three catches in that opening part of the game and wound up with a touchdown reception as well. Both these teams running through their final adjustments before they head out for the second half. Time for us to go back to Levi Stadium as we'll hand it back over to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. The Giants set to get the football, and they trail here as we get back underway in the second half. Holmes going to opt against bringing it out, and they will begin at the 25. The Giants' offense set to begin this third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Taken down for the fifth time this game. Multiple defenders there to get him. So one quick, easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than a normal is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Under pressure, and they got to it again. The defense rising to the challenge and setting them back on the sand. Well, collectively as a defense, Charles, I think if you get four sacks a game, you're feeling really good. Now they have six as a unit. And that type of a number, it's just staggering because there's so many ways to try and counteract it. But in this case, they've got no answers for this unrelenting pressure coming at their quarterback. Here's Jamie Gillen now as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And he's able to get it out quickly, and this is not a bad kick here. He'll take it a few steps in front of the 50. It'll be a 40-yard punt, eight on the return. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. 
First and ten, and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. Up the gut, McCaffrey. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Getting had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Now a second and two. Play action, and now here's Purdy to throw it. Rolling to his right. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. That's good for 28 yards. That's a big league job there, getting out of the pocket, not panicking, and just buying himself some time. Then he made a good, accurate throw to set up first and goal. They'll bring one of the tight ends in motion left. McCaffrey running up the middle. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. Now he'll try to run with this. And he'll take this into the end zone for a San Francisco touchdown. Second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Niners are able to add on to that lead. And maybe there that was just a case of completely overlooking the guy holding the football. It certainly felt like it, didn't it? Because on my checklist, okay, as a defender, <laughs> QB's last. Running back, fullback, heck, jet sweeps nowadays. Before you even get to thinking about the quarterback might actually keep it. And he's got it. So the try for two successful. And that bumps their lead up even further. He hits the big target for the two-point try. <laughs> Defenses hate those guys, especially around the goal line. It's hard to decide who you're going to put on him. Are you going to put a smaller corner on him? Are you going to put a safety who doesn't have maybe the same coverage skills? How about a linebacker? He may have the size, but he's not used to really covering in space. That's why the tight end gives you such a great advantage when you're throwing the football. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. And throwing here to start the drive as they connect left side. And they're able to get this one across the 35. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Back to throw. Jones. And the Niners get there and bring him down. Set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down on the sack. Offensively, they're going to have to figure this out before next week. Seven sacks in one game. Yeah, and that's more than any quarterback should have to bear. And if this continues on, there will be another quarterback in the game because no one can stand up to this week after week. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. That burst good for 20 and a first down. It's a gain of 20. And the Giants first down. Looking to throw. Jones. This one goes out wide for Barkley. So just three yards on the completion there. And that will bring up second down. Back to throw. Jones. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Jones now to throw on third down. And he is caught. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers, 36. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Barkley inside handoff. 
And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. That good for six as they keep this drive right on rolling. Now Jones throwing on first down. Balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. It sort of looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. Got a man. It's Darren Waller. Touchdown, Giants. Darren Waller, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Giants have cut it back within a score. As a general rule, quarterbacks don't want to lock in on a receiver before the ball is snapped. But in this case, based on the matchup he thought he was going to get, it was favorable for his tight end. He locked in on him early and found him for a touchdown. Gano for the extra point. And it's good. The deficit six, 20 to 14. So that one a long 11 play drive. And it concludes with a touchdown reception by Darren Waller. Returning from his end zone is Ray Ray McLeod. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. The 49ers ready to set up shop again offensively. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. An opportunity to get a drive started here at the end of the third quarter. What you're trying to do is break the game down a little bit. Don't let your guys see too deep into the game, into the future, and say, oh, we got to get here. No, right here, right in front of them. Melt the clock down, get to the fourth quarter, try and keep going. And try to keep that lead. Exactly. Third down, here's McCaffrey. Oh, he's got some breathing room. There he goes, left side. And he is finally forced out of bounds inside the 30-yard line. A big play there from McCaffrey and even 50 yards. With that last effort, he topples the 5,000-yard mark for his career. And that doesn't place you among the absolute greats that have ever played the game, but it's a significant achievement and a very, very solid career. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. Back now here in Santa Clara. It's 49er football here. They've got the lead as well as we get set to start the fourth and final quarter. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And they've got it in the red zone now, down at about the 19. 108 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run, got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to run that now. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Shotgun handoff now to McCaffrey. Down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it, but what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that will work against a stack box and continue to move the ball? A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. The offense on third down tonight, they've converted three times and eight chances. This is third and four from the shotgun to McCaffrey. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. Four yards on the pickup, good enough to extend the drive. 
As I take a look at the clock, I realize that this drive is eating up a good portion of the fourth quarter already. Gotta tell you, partner, when you're trying to salt away a game, this is exactly what it's supposed to look like. And he's got it. Touchdown. George Kittle. Charles, he's still a young signal caller in this league, second year in the NFL. But I don't know if last year as a rookie if he would have worked to his progressions like he did on that touchdown pass. I think you're right about that. We're seeing him grow up right in front of our eyes because when he went to his primary read, he recognized that they were all over that. So he continued to survey the field, picked up another target, delivered a pass exactly where it needed to be. A very mature play for the second-year quarterback. Purdy and the Niner offense, they'll stay on the field. They'll try to go for two here. They'll look to throw. And unable to connect. They don't get the two-point conversion here. So unable to throw it in for two from the two. Let me ask you, as a former DB, what changes there around the goal line on a two-point conversion as far as how you're defending it? You just make sure you never back up and you never retreat. You establish yourself really on the line of scrimmage, put your heels on the goal line at worst. If they're going to throw the ball, make them throw it over your head because they're going to run out of space because of the back of the end zone. Never let a guy catch one in front of you. Here's the giant offense now as they get ready to take over here. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. Now throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. We've got to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Jones and Shepard with a connection there for Giants first down. They'll set up to throw. They'll find Paris Campbell. That's complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 43. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Whenever I see a drop like that, I have to kind of take a step back and check myself a little bit. So used to seeing those big guys make big time spectacular plays that when they drop one, I have to remind myself, we ask a lot out of these guys. Block and catch the football, not easily done in today's NFL. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Now Jones. Campbell making the catch. And he stopped up short of the first as they tackle him down at about the 36. So the completion good for seven there. And that's going to bring up the fourth down. Desperation time now. Here's Jones. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slam, and it's intercepted. And the 49ers are going to have the football here at their own 35-yard line. Well, I guess an interception at this point on fourth down is just as bad as an incomplete pass. Either way, the ball goes over to the other side. He has a tough spot to be in this late in the game, and there's not a whole lot he could do there. And he winds up giving the ball away. So here are the Niners to take over on offense. They've won two straight, and they lead this one as well as they come up on first and ten. Now Purdy. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Well, how about this aggressive approach? Got the lead, fourth quarter, continuing to throw the football. Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? <laughs> Atlanta had the lead against New England, and they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. And I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watching Atlanta, our apologies. Now a nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. Purdy now on second down. 
Throw right side is going to be caught by Samuel. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. This is McCaffrey on the give. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. 135 yards rushing for him now as his big night continues. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's 49er football here as we get you reset. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. On second down, McCaffrey. Oh, he shifts past him. A tough run gets him just inside the 10 to the 9, but no further. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left as they call the timeout defensively. They stay on the ground, McCaffrey again. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. Purdy looking to throw. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Niners go for it, but it doesn't work out. And the Giants are going to get the football back. So now Jones and the Giants down by 12. A minute 47 on the clock. And the fourth down stop, the first of a series of events that will need to break their way. But bottom line, they're still alive. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to it. Jones. He finds him again, Saquon Barkley. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Jones. Catch made here by Campbell. They'll come up first and ten here. Here's Jones. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion. So I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a nonstop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores, want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Ooh, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle, so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. To throw is Jones. It's hauled in by Shepard. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. One final shot. They'll look to throw. And that will be incomplete. They were going for a consolation TD, but it was not to be. And time is run out now on this game. 
So the victory here for San Francisco, and we talked so much about the turnover battle determining who wins and who loses. This game, no exception. They didn't turn the ball over at all, and they go on to victory. They look like a smooth operation in this 